Yo, what's going on crew? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 after I've been using it for about three weeks now. And we're going to be taking a look at the overall performance I've been getting when it comes to the battery life um, and stuff like that. But, but mainly, we're going to take a look at the updates. And I've been using this really cool case for it, which I will you know, show you guys in the um, description or in the link up right here so make sure you watch that but if you're brand new to the channel i truly appreciate you for coming through but if you're already a part of the crew salute so after three weeks i've been using this thing as my main device of choice and i think it's really really solid i've been using it on android 12 but i just want to throw out there that there is a software update to Android 13 One UI 5. So I kind of wanted to test it out with the uh, Android 12 first to see how it performs when it comes to the battery life. And I'm actually really impressed when it comes to the battery life. You get this really nice optimization feature which lets you optimize the smartphone and it'll tell you if it's how it's doing and stuff like that. Storage is really good on here with the 256 model. But just keep in mind it does have the, you know, a, a 512 variant as well so when i go into the battery performance you can see that so far in the day i've been using it for 13 hours one hour screen on time i'm still at 62 percent so i've been using it all day without charging it and i'm really impressed with this battery life especially when it comes to powering two screens at one time uh well you know it's got a pretty decent battery of 4400 milliamps and I've been using mu music on here, uh, YouTube, uh, browsing the web, you know, checking email, multitasking, uh, listening to, you know, music, social media, the Bible app as well. And I'm actually really impressed with it. And you can see right here, it's running on the, uh, the Android 12 system UI right now, right now. So it's going to be getting an update right now in this video. So I'm going to show you guys basically what you would do to get it updated, you would go down into the option where it says all the way at the bottom, it says software update. And we're going to go ahead and check that out. But right now it's been really solid, especially when it comes to multitasking and using this device as a, you know, multitasking phone, because you're going to be able to get some really good performance and stuff like that. So I really enjoy using the dual display. I like the fact that you could use it in different orientations as well. And you can see right here, it's set, telling us that we do have the software update available. Let me just wait for that to focus in. So it says right here that the One UI 5, um, basically Android 13 is going to give you a solid experience when it comes to the optimization. So it's saying that it's going to bring more power personalization and make it a little bit easier to get things done across Galaxy devices. So they're going to bring some new enhanced features. I haven't had any issues with the screen protector on the inner display. It seems to be working really good overall. And, um, you know, I can't complain whatsoever so far that I've been using it because the battery life has gotten me through a full day. And I did notice the battery getting better the more I used it. So they have a uh, visual design smoother than before, enhanced blur and colors, customization with more wallpapers, customize your lock screen, more options for the color palette, routines and um, bedtime and check-in routines quickly, home screen widgets with the stack widgets. It's gonna have connected devices, do more with connected devices, camera and gallery update, which is gonna give you um, a help icon will appear in pro mode and video to tap to get you know, I um, tap the icon to get tips and guidance, but um, the telephoto lens is now supported in food mode and you could choose filters, easily customize, you know, albums. The photo and video editor is going to be also updated. AR stickers and emojis, the keyboard, the Samsung DeX has enhanced taskbar and DeX, new notifications indicator and DeX and mini calendar and DeX. You get notifications, which will allow you to get only notifications you allow um, settings you get each app will have its own language so you don't have to change the entire language you could just do it for certain apps get more ram plus auto optimization 
security uh, and privacy. Check your phone security at a glance. Prevent accidental sharing of personal information. Maintenance mode and um, security and privacy information for websites. You get more accessibility features here as well. So you can actually get high contrast font, color inversion, and you know, um, add it quickly. Mag magnifier is easier to access. More spoken assistance more spoken assistance and stuff like that. Additional stuff, you get use several timers at once, more control over calendars and invites. And that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you, but it also includes the December 1st, 2022 security patch. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this right now, but overall, it's been a really solid device. I still have those stack widgets right here, which were introduced on Android 12. Uh, you know, one thing I do like about this device is it not the home screen on your dual display is is different from the one on the outer display. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I have this really nice wallpaper. If you guys want to check this wallpaper out, I'll make sure I leave. Um, a, a, let me know and I'll leave a link down below to it. But um, if you're still here, I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people. And I truly appreciate you for doing that. But do me a quick solid just type down below i'm still here in the comment section so i know you're still kicking it with me okay but you know i definitely want to show you the um thing about the home screens is that the home screen and the what you see my lock screen right here is different from the inner display and then i could hit the fingerprint on the side which is very quick and also the facial recognition is very quick and you can see that I have a different home screen on the outer display and different widgets and a different layout. I've been using Amazon Music and it's actually been pretty cool. I, spe I like the equalizer on that as well, but you can't go wrong with this device, especially for the price of a um, thousand dollars. It's going to be pretty solid. If you get it used, it's going to be less than that. You can get it as low as seven to hundred if you use, get a used to renewed one. Uh, mine was more in the range of 800 but this case is pretty cool because you could take off the pen and they have a ton of cases which I really do like about it um, so this pen this s pen that I've been using also works really well with the inner display and you could just go ahead and you could do a ton of different stuff it has this little button that you could press to get your translate apps messages live messages screen right smart selection and view all notes but while this is downloading i'm just going to pause the video and i'll get right back with you okay i'm also going to do more case videos because i really like the cases that come for this device you can see the hinge is extremely sturdy when you put a case on there it actually closes the crease so that dirt can't get in when the case is on which i really do like type c for charging really really good speakers on this device uh for the dual um for the overall um sound quality you get dolby atmos and stuff like that but let me just wait for the update to finish all right all right so the update is pretty much done downloading and i really like the outer display as well it's very um easy to text with one and use this device as a one-handed phone because of the way that it's um, it's a super skinny device but super tall and um, it's gonna give you a really nice aspect ratio when it comes to typing it's also got wireless charging uh, the you know it looks really really good 120 Hertz on here as well and so I'm a huge fan of this device overall but let's just wait for this to finish downloading now I also bought an S Pen for the outer display, but this one doesn't have the the um, interchangeable tip. It actually has a rubber tip on here. So I don't know if you can see that because my camera isn't. There we go. And you can see it kind of peels as you use it. So that's the only thing that I didn't like about it is that the more you use it, the more the rubber tip will get kind of... Um, I'm trying to zoom in a little bit, kind of focus in on there. But this tip is a lot different than the one that I have, which is the stock one, which is you could change the tips on this one. It's a more of a pointed one, better for drawing, better for writing. 
but I like this one because you could use it on the outer display as well. Oh, I didn't even know that that side worked on here. Okay. So you can see right here, I'm using it on the outer display and it works really good for the outer display as well as the inner display. So I'll make sure I leave a link down below for that. But right now I'm going to go ahead and install now and then um, just check out the new software once it's finished downloading. All right, guys, so you can see right here that it is at it's, it hap it's actually loading pretty quick when it comes to the update. It's already in, um, you know, in the process of actually, you know, um, optimizing everything right now. So I like the, the, con the continual use of the outer and the inner display. It gives you that really nice um, continuation when you open it and close it. You can still see what app you're using or the screens actually um, roll over real nice but let's just wait for this to hit 100% and this device can replace a tablet such as the A7 that I've been using obviously you can see that the screen on here is much bigger um, it's a 10 inch display so it's going to be a little bit better than the 7.6 inch display because it's a lot more um, easier to watch movies and bigger and so you can see how huge it is it's really nice when it comes to this thing's display the a7 or whatever so i definitely still use the tablet but if you do want to replace your tablet this is a good option as well okay so the device is powering on now and it only took about i would say like five minutes for this process to completely happen so it doesn't take too long to update to the latest android software just give yourself about i would say like at least 20 minutes to 30 minutes tops to get the whole thing done or whatever and this case actually matches my headphones perfectly which is something i like about the color of it it's just gonna go well with the trend yacht t10 per, um you know um pro version or whatever but it's almost done downloading right now 70 is optimizing all the apps at this very moment so i'll just give it a moment to actually finish and then let's just remove the s pen so it could lay flat when it's downloading all right so the device is now done installing the one ui 5.0 I just put my password in and so the One UI 5 is officially launched on here with the December 1st security patch. Um, my battery dropped about, I don't know, like 12% while I'm doing this video. So that's because the screen was on the whole time. So the more you have the screen on, the more the battery drains, but it has good standby time. Um, when it comes to the overall battery, you can see it's actually finishing the update. I'm using this device on Metro by T-Mobile with my SIM card in it, my Metro PCS SIM card. So it does say that right there. The side mounted fingerprint sensor also does drag down into the option right here. So it's showing us that we got modes now. And it gives you the option for sleep, drive and exercise and relax and work. Also notice you can customize it some more and add your own different features to it. Let's see what other features have been added, but Samsung Dex and Smart View come in handy when using this device, especially when you want to put it put it to your TV so you can watch content. It has always on display, it has NFC, it has the QR scanner, create notes, protect your battery secure folder wireless power charging which is cool for like charging wireless earbuds up top you can see that we have the security and privacy feature now color inversion bedtime um you know um, call and text on other devices the kids mode the focus mode the high contrast fonts as well notification sounds color adjustment is a new feature as well so a lot of cool stuff and i could just drag any one of these down like the this guy right here, which is the live caption, security and privacy is also pretty cool. Sound notifications, color adjustments, as well, bedtime mode. 
Um, what else? Music share is pretty cool if you want to share the music you're listening to with another person. I don't really use the call and text on other devices because I tend to use two devices only and I don't really need to share that. I don't need to like do that. We also do have this feature, which is cool. And then the color filters. Let me, I'm just curious to see what the color filters will do. So let's click color filters. Um, so far the device moves really fast. So that basically makes it like this blue color, which is not, you know, I don't really think that's going to be, I'm not going to be using that much, but color adjustment. You can change it, make it grayscale. You could make it personalize the color as well. You could always turn that off or on. The software update is now officially complete. And this is the, the version I'm running on. So I'll let you read that, pause it. But so far, the experience of using this device has been better than I actually thought so far. So if I go into about phone now, um, it's gonna show the new software model and the stuff like that. So let me just go into software information. And then, yeah, so everything is right here. Android 13, it says, One UI 5.1. You get the little clock right here, which gives you the Android 13 thing. I think you got to tap like right here or something. So you just change the dial till you get to the one o'clock. And now you get Android 13. So this is really cool. I definitely like the fact that this device does have Android 13 now, and it's gonna be really nice to use it, test it out, see all the features and stuff like that on Android 13, hopefully the battery still keeps being as good as it is overall but let me know what you guys think about the samsung galaxy z fold 3 and i just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and beat the youtube algorithm but um i just typed down below i'm still here in the comment section so i know you're still kicking it with me and i'll check you guys later okay later crew peace